Hello guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to Race Room Experience. Now Race Room Experience is a game which I did a little video on a while back and they had a sale on this past weekend so I was able to pick up uh, some more content. I kind of wanted to get a feeling for what some of this extra content is like. So right now I'm in the BMW Pro Car at Laguna Seca and I've actually tried quite a lot of the content that I've purchased. I don't know, I was kind of hoping that this content would revitalize the race room experience and make me feel that it's a better thing, you know, that I'm more interested in it. If you know what I mean, to kind of make me feel like it's kind of a contender that it's half decent but after a fair amount of play with this new content you know what guys I'm just feeling there's one thing in this game which is sorely lacking and that is the tire model these days with the likes of a set of Corsa and the likes of R Factor 2 which has an amazing tire model as well it just makes this game stand out as having a really poor tyre model in that whoops I'm gonna crash and by the way this is live I am driving and trying to talk at the same time which is kinda of hard but it's like yeah they the the force feedback you get in this game it's got quite strong force feedback but you don't get the same feeling of the tyres in the tyre model you know it's got more like an old school kinda of tyre model you know, where it just doesn't give you that precise feeling of when the tyres are losing grip and it's, a, it's really hard for me to explain what that is but it's just, for example in R Factor 2 you can really feel what the tyres are doing. In this game it just feels really old school, you know, it feels like you can't feel what the tyres are doing at all, you know, whoops. So it just, that's a major, like, issue, it's a major kind of killer for me. Now, I think if I was Simbin, this would be a major area that I would work on. Because like I said, there's so many other Sim games out there that have a much better feeling to the driving, you know? I mean, okay, this game, the graphics are, are okay, the graphics. I mean, this is not an amazing rendition of Laguna Seca, it's okay, but the graphics are not amazing, just passable. I, w I would say the one area where they've done really well is the, the sound. The engine sound in this game is really good, really beefy, makes you really feel like you're, you know, you're driving this kind of car. But other things like the, the modeling of the interiors, for example, they really don't inspire me, you know? They look all right, it looks okay. But it really does not inspire me to be like, whoa, I'm driving this amazing car, if you know what I mean. It just looks a little bit kind of old school. Like I said, the handling is a bit old school. So, you know, my feeling for race room experience is just, it really needs some updating, you know. It's, it's okay, but I think in its its current form it really is not worth it I think um, yeah now I did see on the Steam forums the other day a lot of people were complaining about the whole DTM experience that that's a new game that uh, Simbin have brought out um, and people were, were kind of annoyed firstly because they thought some of the content that's already in race room experience is in the new game DTM experience but it can't be accessed you know it's a separate thing so they don't kind of relate to each other so you effecti effectively have to buy the same track twice which a lot of people obviously don't like um, so lots of people on the Steam forums were complaining about that and also they were kind of saying that they felt cheated because they feel like that maybe Simbin are going to be putting attention onto DTM experience but not so much this game 
and that this game will be abandoned and we'll be left with lots of content that has no meaning, if you know what I mean. And then there was a guy who I'm assuming is what? I know he's part of the, the development team. I don't know how important this guy is, but there was a guy from the development team who then basically came onto the Steam forums and was saying, next year, Race Room Experience is going to get lots of updates. Um, they have already updated, so you can race with AI, but you well, you can't actually have a race, but while you're hot lapping, you can have AI. So it's still essentially a hot lapping kind of game. Now he was saying next year they'll be adding, whoops, too fast. He said that next year they'll be adding to the like um, single player in this race stream experience. He's saying they're also going to bring multiplayer and stuff like that. So he's he's basically saying that next year that race stream experience will get updated will get updated a lot that it will really be improved. Now I sincerely hope this is true. Now let's see if we can watch a replay to see what I mean the game kind of feels a bit like a a G motor like R Factor mm -hmm. One style game to me. When I kind of look at these kind of these kind of graphics I really feel that it's like a G Motor 1 game, like an R Factor 1 engine game. I, th I think it actually might be. I don't know, but it just it just feels a little bit old, doesn't it? A little bit old school, really. So yeah, so you know, at least it would appear hopefully there might be some some updates for this game next year that might help it to make it more interesting. Um, because right now, I really feel that this race room experience is kind of irrelevant. It's been overtaken by R Factor 2, it's been overtaken by a set of Corsa. Like, for the cost that you'd have to pay in race room experience for the same kind of content, you, you would probably have to pay slightly more in this than you would in a set of Corsa. I mean, I think it's kind of similar, but yeah, so. It's just not worth it because obviously a set of Corsa and R Factor 2, you know, they're much better games. Certainly the feeling of the driving, the, the tyre model and everything like that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd update you on my feelings on this race room experience. Um, I would say that if you're into sim racing, um, I would probably stick with the likes of R Factor 2 a set of Corsa, those kind of games. You know, maybe next year they might improve this enough, but right now it's just irrelevant in the whole sim racing um, genre, you know? So, if you guys have any specific questions about this, please can leave a comment in the comment section below. It'll be interesting as well, if any of you guys have played this game, just to let me know what your updated thoughts are on it. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one, bye bye.